We are here at the Infineon stand at Electronica 2022 with what has kind of slightly blown my mind slightly. Um, you may be aware of the idea of NFC charging, and I've seen it in things like badges which light up with just purely the power of NFC that's coming out the back of your phone or whatever. But uh, this example here is something that blew my mind. So uh, I'm here with Stathis who's going to give us a quick example of that. Yeah, so this is a very basic padlock. It's built by IH Technology. They are partners and uh, it's basically I will just show you the functionality right now. So I tap my phone. As you can see, something is charging up, which is the capacitor inside. And once it's charged, it unlocks. So super fast. And uh, just a quick moment here, just to give reference. Um, if you are wondering what just happened here, and with this padlock, is there's not actually that much smart about it. There's no battery in there. This is charging a capacitor inside the padlock using just the NFC signal from a phone. It doesn't even drain the battery of the phone that much. In fact, there's another example of it just here. If you really want to see what's going on, uh, here, there's a little uh, motor inside this which drives something backwards and forwards. So if I put it at the right angle, you'll see this little bar here. You could think of it a little bit like a locker in the gym, for example. And again, if you want to demonstrate this just one more time. Um, so I go ahead and I lock it. And then I use the exact same thing to unlock it. And again, this is something that's happening without batteries on board. This is happening entirely using the NFC signal from the back of the phone. Um, and you also mentioned something else that I haven't actually seen working yet. Um, but uh, we are all familiar with the idea of smart locks. And uh, there's also this kind of problem that when you have a smart lock, if you run out of power on the lock, if the power goes out, if the battery inside runs out or a backup battery, you're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. um, but you come up with a solution which uses pretty much the same technology, right? Yeah. yeah. So most smart locks usually have two uh, contact points right underneath. And once the battery runs out, you can actually plug in a different battery to have it as an emergency power, but I don't honestly carry a battery with me. So yeah, the idea is that you can still use this solution as a backup power. Um, and in this case, I will try to lock. And you can see it takes uh, a bit longer because the, the motor is much, much larger and yeah and I can still use the unlock function. Uh, this is taking a bit longer because of the motor. And as mentioned just a moment ago, one of the reasons why this lock will take a little bit longer to do that is because the motors inside are way more powerful. And I, I know I sound like a stuck record, but I really do want to stress the fact that this is using the same NFC power on your phone you use to pay for things at the supermarket, to charge up the motor, to open the door. It's one of the main things with any kind of smart technology that's a problem. What happens if you don't have power? Well, almost all of us have power in our pockets.